All right, we've had news, obviously. Um, we're doing quite well here this morning on the zone breakdowns already. Hey, Thomas, good morning. So zone break, here's our zone break this morning. Um, after news, let's take a look at the price action here, what we had for the entire session. So let's first of all go into yesterday at the close, um, power hour. We talk about power hour all the time, 3.30 to 4.10. That's when you want to look for the market. We'll go into today's trading also. Then we'll look at some setups here. 3.30 yesterday, we got the outer zone trade, came out to this outer zone, pulled in, gave us a nice yellow entry right at 15.44, and the market shot out like a cannon, 52.46, ran up to 72, had a real nice 25-point S&P point run within 15 minutes into the power hour close. Then today at 6 a.m. we get the same power hour trade. We get a zone breakout, zone breakout. Now we had a big zone breakdown here this morning. Here's the next zone breakdown. We're anticipating another zone breakdown coming up right there. So that's just a trend change that's coming, Terrence. So we have another possible zone break here this morning. I had a question when you want to turn these on. This is the strategy running this morning uh, with news. Uh, you could turn the strategy. Obviously, past performance is not indicative of future results, but you want to turn the strategy on when you're in an imbalance market, when you're going into an imbalance, when you're outside a market profile, if you're doing a zone break. We'll go to that this morning. It was done well this morning with the market, uh, with the news, uh, going into the news with the news. We've done well this morning with the strategy that you guys have uh, going into the news event based upon the zone break. So we've got a zone possible break again coming here at 5203. 5203, another possible zone break. It's going to have a yellow trigger pull off in a second. There it is. So these zone breaks are momentum. You can see that momentum is coming in the market. You're breaking these swings. There it is, another zone break. Your entry right there is 52.02 and a quarter. 52.02 and a quarter. It's been as low as 51.94 and a quarter. Now it's down to that 50.93 almost a 10 point play as we're doing this video on the there's your 10 point play over 10 point play now on the zone break good job frank got this one four out runner out good job derek do you end up getting in this one i think derek's in also on this play Aaron, you in. Good job. Over 10 points on this zone break in an imbalanced market. Good job, Derek. Derek, how many ticks did you have yesterday? I was reading. I, what uh, Did you have uh, – you had a big day yesterday and ended up having a big day, didn't you? Frank, you had a pretty good, decent day yesterday too, didn't you? Off the, what were you guys doing, zone breaks yesterday? But yeah, we had a zone break here. The, the, the great thing about this zone break, 836. You had a, over 180 ticks, man. Good job. That's awesome. Congrats, man. Yeah, yesterday we had some really good breakouts. I'll, I'll go over after the news settles down. I'll go over the big holes in the market. What I did is I identified a big hole in the market yesterday. I let traders aware we had a target of 5211. We had a hole of 30 points in the market yesterday, 30 points in the market. And we had a, a zone break like this. It happened right below low value area. That's when you want to take these zone breaks, guys. These zone breakdowns that fired, this one fired this morning. You can see on the video, replay the video. You can see how it works live. 
5202 is low, low as 5186. 16 S&P points on just this last one. It started earlier right here, right after news. Right after news, we got a zone break 15 seconds after the news, and it started at, what, 5241. It just got cranked to the downside, had a trail all the way down. That got as low as, what, 5202. So yesterday we had a big hole in the market also. Had a big hole yesterday on these zone breaks. You want to take these zone breaks. Remember these zone breaks? You can use this as an indicator or strategy. If you use it as an indicator, these yellow candles will come up and an alarm will come on your computer when it happens on your outer edge zone break or your failure trade. But the ideal situation to take these zone breaks is when you're in an imbalanced market with market profile. Remember, market profiles work for 39 years. Not your standard 30-minute market profile. I don't like 30-minute market profile. I, I don't think it measures uh, act, uh, the structure of the market very good. We like two to four hour profiles. But there's your zone break here this morning, looking for another zone possible break. So you had two, two zone breaks coming out of the gate, actually three. We had three back-to-back -back zone breaks. This one's a good one to get that you guys got on because it's after news, way after news. But you can see when you want to take these zone breaks, Remember, these, these, these levels have been tested for 30 years using an artificial intelligence program. These levels should reverse price, these zones. These zones should reverse price. So when they do come up and they're trending down or trending up, we get zone breaks in an imbalanced market outside of profile. We're looking for a run. So there's your zone break. This happened right at news over here, too, at 8.30. So now we're into another zone break. Here's your big one. Another zone break at this level right there also. So let, let's take a look at, um, I have two charts in the room. I got my larger Renko size over here. I'll skinny this down. These are my zone breaks today. I got a larger Renko size, which is a 120.20. in the room and I got a smaller Renko size. The smaller Renko size, you can see we have zone breaks on the smaller Renko size also. The smaller Renko size, you're just going to get more setups. Zone break, zone break, zone break. So another zone break there. You're just going to get more setups with this smaller Renko size, right? With trend. So you can see we're in another zone break that's just cranking. Here's another good one for you traders. I mean, it's been one hell of a day today on zone breaks. Another one that just happened here, 51.85.75. We've had four in a row. You can't really count the one right at news because that's right Order news. Submitted. But here's one that started it out at 8.30 at 15 seconds. This is a good one. 836.16. canceled. You guys are going to be done early for the day. Here's another good one. 840. Everybody Order knows canceled. 840 is my time of day trade. I talked about it ever since we opened the trading room. What's my favorite time of trade during the day? Everybody knows it. 840. I'm looking for setups that happen at 840. That's when the algorithms like to pick up these setups. What time did this happen? 840 and Order two seconds. Order canceled. <laughs> How about that for time of day trade? So there's another zone breakdown. What's the best time to take these zone breaks? Remember, these, these levels have been tested for 30 years. We know these levels can reverse price, right? So if we're in a downtrend or uptrend, meaning if they're red, we're looking to short. If we're green, we're looking to buy. Well, we're looking to short all morning. We've had no buy setups. Let the amateur counter trend traders try to buy this market. We, we are selling shorting low, buying lower. But all those amateurs try to buy high, sell, and buy buy low, sell high. 
we're trying to sell low by lower with the professional traders. You're shorting low at this zone break and you're by covering lower. You're shorting low, covering lower. You're shorting low, covering low. Why? Order because careful. there's holes in the market. Now, how can we determine where there's holes in the market to look at these big zone breaks? How can we determine this happened yesterday too? This is how these traders in the room had a big day yesterday. Some of these traders that just typed in when we're doing this video had a big day. Because they're going with the overall holes in the market. I identified a big 30 point hole yesterday in the market. Now this is an outer edge trade with trend. It's happening also right now. It's another setup we have. It's called an outer edge trade. It gets to my outer zone. But it's with overall market profile trend, so I like these. Outer zone slingshot. It's my second trade that is a trade that's outside of market profile. I mean, that's uh, outside of the zones. So we have two trend trades. We have an outer zone trade, and we have a zone break. What's the difference in these trade setups here? What's Order the difference candle. in this zone break? And what's the difference in this outer slingshot that's happening right now? The difference is these zone breaks, I'm trying to short low and cover lower to catch all these counter trend traders. Zone break, I'm trying to short low and cover lower and catch the counter trend traders. Traders know that I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show with over 6,000 traders that were present. And all the indicators and strategies typically out there for with all these different software programs and vendors, etc., they like to counter trend trade or fade the market. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find trades with overall trend and look for pockets in the market to look for runs like this. Or if it comes to an outer edge on my outer edge level, Try to pull us in when it's an outer, outer edge trade. Now, when's the best time to take these two setups? Because these are only two setups you need to stock in the market that are trend trades. The best time to look for these setups, these zone breaks and outer edge, is with market profile. So yesterday I identified a 30 point, a 30 point hole in the market. It was 30 points. We had downside break of 30 points yesterday. Order submitted. We identified this break before it happened. I said if we break down below this level, we're going to have a big hole in the market. There's a big two big holes in the market with market profile. And then we have the zone breaks. Now these market profiles shifted, Order but what canceled. happened was LVA. Order I'll show you show you where LVA and HVA was. If you get outside of HVA, the market's imbalanced. Below low value, the market's imbalanced. Look at this big hole in the market that we had this morning. Giant hole in the market with no support. Another giant hole in the market too to take these take these setups. So what you want to do is you want to look for holes in the market. So yesterday, today you can see zone break, zone break, big holes in the market, zone break. Yesterday the same way. There's our big holes in the market. Look at our zone breaks yesterday. We had a big hole in the market. Well, what I identified was the target was 52.11. So I identified this target at 52.11 in the room with these traders all the way up here before the break. So the control point broke at this level and we had a short there. And low value area was here and we had a short here. So look at this big hole in the market. So before this even broke low value area, I said we had a 30 point hole in the market. That's when you want to look at these zone breaks, guys. When market profile has a hole like that, and what it do? It came right down to 52.11, broke a little bit, and then it had a huge rally right, right afterwards. That's all market profile. That's all the participants in the market. Same way today. Today we had two big giant holes in the market with market profile. 
So if we look at the profile where we have the big, big giant holes in the market, 52, 62 and a half. So here was your control point, and you can mark this on your own charts. There's 62 and a half right there. There's your control point break. And then my low value area, 52, 17 a quarter, if it did not adjust, I don't think it adjusted. 17 a quarter. So there's your two profile breaks. So what you want to do, you broke through your control, had a big hole in the market to LVA. That's your control point. Most volume is traded. Broke down. That's when you will look for a zone break down to the low value area. But this is your big break. This is one I love. I love when they break low value area. There's your zone break this morning that you traders got on. And we had a big follow through here this morning. Big follow through right there at that level. 02 down to 76. 16 S&P point run off those two zone breaks. A lot of you guys are done for the day already. But notice the relationship between the big holes in the market. You got a big hole here in the market. What that creates, it creates speed in the market. And then we got a giant hole below that. Look at this, no support. Remember, market profile looks at all the participants. That's not my opinion. That's not your opinion. That's where there is no supported resistance in the market because market profile is the structure of the market. It takes all the volume, all the hedge funds, prop firms, amateur professional traders, all the algorithms, spits out these profile levels, our two to four hour, I have a two to four hour profile system that I use. I don't use a 30 minute market profile. To me, it's garbage. 30 minute bar profiles are garbage to me because they cannot profile the market like we need to, we need to look at longer term profiles to find these big giant holes. Then once we identify the holes, we can find out when we can do zone breaks or outer edge trades with trend. Right, this is a failure trade coming up. So there's two, there's three setups we totally have in the room. One, we have a zone break. That's where these yellow entry bars or trigger bars come up when there's holes in the market. There's a big hole here, big hole here, zone break next target is HVA, big hole here, zone break, zone break. The other trade, that's, that's a trend setup, right? That's, those are with trend because the red zone is down. Our red zone is down. We're, we're only selling. Our outer slingshot, it comes to the outer edge, it pulls back in. That looks like this. We had a power hour trade yesterday that took off like crazy. Got outside of profile, 46 all the way up to 72. That's what an hour, a good outer edge looks like here. These are what two great outer edges look like. Gets to the outer edge, pulls in. Gets to the outer edge, yellow bar pulls in. Big moves, here's today's, here's yesterday's. So those are the two trend trades we have in the room. We have two outer edges, and then we have the zone breaks. As far as that go, the only counter we have is the failure trade that will be against overall trend. I don't like failure trades that come up as, unless I'm back inside a profile. I do not like taking failure trades. I do not like taking trades that are against trend, zone trend, unless I'm back inside a low value area. And that's the first trade that I will look for. Secondly, I do not like taking these smaller Rinko chart trades like this. This smaller Rinko chart is put up for one reason. It's put up for one reason. It's put up to look for breaks when you're first breaking outside a profile. Order submitted. First breaking outside a profile for zone breaks. I would not touch this chart. Not touch this chart. In fact, I'm going to take the failures off of this. Where is it at? only want to look for these when we're doing what when we're in a hard downtrend 
hard downtrend or hard uptrend, then use a smaller Renko size. If not, just use your larger Renko size, guys. You want to use a smaller Renko size, half of this. So this is a 1 20, 20. Here's the only time I will use the 1 10, 10. Here's the only time. If I see this market on the 1 20, 20 is nothing but red. And I see this oscillator is pegged. It's not retracing. It's pegged at, and I'll give you the exact number. If it's pegged at 123.81, negative 123.81, if it's at negative 123.81 and trending, I will look for smaller Renko entries. From here, from here, from here. If not, I do not touch that 110 chart. You want to touch that 110 when you're only trending hard off the longer Renko size. If you have hard blow-off rallies or hard blow-off sell-offs, if not, use a larger Renko size, the 12020.